Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD, and yes, we're finally finishing our PC build for December 2016, codename Special Build. Uh, and I decided to do two hard drives. Uh, I have one two terabyte SATA hard drive, and on the back would be our solid state drive, which is 128 gigs, which is not that bad. Uh, I did behind the scenes all the cable management. The only hiccup that I had was when we inserted the, the H75 cooling system, right underneath we had the ATX 12 volt port and we need that. So most likely what you need to do is uh, remove three of the screws from the H75 and just tilt it and then just insert that port. I inserted the main ATX power uh, cable here and uh, uh, this unit right here comes with two cables and it also comes inside the box a Y connector. That Y connector, you connect these two cables and then you have one connector with a four pin. That four pin will go inside the CPU fan port. And then uh, the actual heat sink has a cable as well, which is a three pin. I placed that inside the power fan. For our graphics card, I inserted uh, the power cable that came with our 650 watts from Rosewell. They actually have a dedicated port for the power supply just for the graphics processor. So you take advantage of that cable. And I inserted two cables for my SATA, which again, I took advantage of everything and I inserted the SATA drives already in the back. I was trying to keep everything nice and clean. This cable, I could try to put it a little bit in the back. And uh, the two system fans, which are the front fans, I insert them here in system fan one and system fan two. And uh, one thing I like about the G1, the 970 motherboard, it comes with this nice little razor. So you can insert all the cables for the Skylar M. Again, the Skylar M only allows you to insert the 3.0 USB for the front. You have your power LED and then you have your power switch. And then I insert the nice little uh, mic system that comes with the, the computer tower. And last but not least, you have the HD audio cable, which is right here. Uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory. One of the things I always tell you guys is to keep the manuals for everything. Keep the manuals for the graphics processor, the motherboard, and the computer tower, especially as for the CPU heatsink, because um, it tells you what cables goes to where, so you don't you don't get mixed up. So all the cables are plugged in. I'm gonna pick up the tower so you guys can take a look on the back and see how it looks, and then we're gonna power it up and insert our operating system. All right, guys, so this is how the back side of the computer tower, the other side, the side that we don't normally don't hardly see, but this is where all the cables are at. Uh, like I said, this is the Y connector for the H75 uh, cooling system. And uh, this cable right here is our ATX 12 volt cable. Uh, this cable right here is our, this cable right here is for our CPU heat sink. That cable there. Again, I try to keep everything clean. These two cables are for the SATA. And I placed this solid state drive on port zero. Again, for the, for the G1 gaming motherboard, the 970, it, it comes with six ports. So you got zero, one, two, three, four, and five. I placed the solid state drive on slot zero. And for the SATA drive, I placed it on slot one, okay? Uh, these cables actually come with the motherboard, so I took advantage and used them. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of these uh, cable ties so I could clean up uh, this section a little bit. And then I'm going to close it up and we are going to boot inside the BIOS system and uh, get into uh, the setting to boot to a USB and start installing our operating system so we can start testing this out. All right, guys, so our December 2016 build is already set up. I set it up with the Y910. Again, the Y910 is uh, it's an all, you know, all-in-one computer, but you could also use it as a stand-alone monitor. So I hooked it up with our HDMI cable. I'm going to uh, click this on to turn on the power supply, and I'm going to turn the baby on, Let's turn that guy on, right? And what I'm gonna do is hit the delete on the keyboard so I can boot inside the BIOS. I wanna do a couple of things. I wanna check the temperature of the CPU to see how well that's going. Uh, I wanna see if it reads the, the solid state drive and the SATA drive, and to see if I'm able to boot from a USB because I have a USB already configured 
to uh, go inside uh, Windows 10 operating system and to install it. So that's the last thing that I have to do. The next thing that you need to do once your operating system is already installed is get all the drivers. Get the drivers for the motherboard, get the drivers for your solid state drive, utilities, software, whatever you need to keep everything nice and healthy. And plus, make sure you push out all the Windows 10 updates because that's always a plus. So right now the CPU temperature is reading 16 gigs. That's awesome. Total memory size is eight gigs. Awesome. Look at that. Ooh. I definitely need to uh, upgrade the BIOS once I get it up and running. System information. I change that later. BIOS. Good, 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 good. Peripherals. All right. Looks like everything. looks like my, uh, onboard USB device. So what I'm going to do, all right, cool, awesome. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to plug this guy in the back. Okay, plug you in the back. All right, so I'm gonna plug my USB in the back and I am going to just hit yes without quitting. Yes without saving because I didn't really do much inside the BIOS and uh, going to do a control alt delete so I can reboot the system and we're going to do an F12 so we can get into our boot menu and if everything goes well we should see our SanDisk USB to boot into and there it goes our SanDisk Cruiser Blade awesome P0, P1, like I said earlier, when I inserted the solid state drive, I inserted it within SATA 0, and our SATA drive, I inserted inside SATA 1, okay? And we are going to hit enter to boot inside our flash drive. Press any key to boot from the USB. That is a good thing. And if everything works well, I should be able to start uh, installing the operating system. Again, uh, once the operating system is installed, you want to get all the drivers, all the software, all the utilities that you need for all the parts that you inserted inside your computer uh, because you want to make sure it's nice and healthy, especially uh, upgrade the BIOS within the, your computer tower because you want that motherboard to be up to par. You want it to have the latest and greatest BIOS stuff. And uh, what else? Uh, definitely upgrade your graphics card drivers. That is a plus. Even though Windows 10 is going to do that for you, but again, make sure you do it manually. Hopefully this is the Windows 10 um, utility. And uh, once this loads up, I'm going to start installing. Again, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave comments right below. Stay tuned. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to do some live streaming with it, playing some games and see how well it performs. And uh, I'm going to click next and install. Right now it's saying setup is starting. It's starting. Awesome. Very exciting. Uh, again, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave comments right below. And I catch you guys on the next PC build. Peace out.